Hey there, everyone. I know, I know it's been a while. It's been a long while, actually. I hope you've been well. We're able to celebrate the holiday season and close out 2020 with those you love. For those of you who are visiting for the first time, thanks for tuning in. I'm Julie, a pro shooter, author, and veteran, sharing a life fully loaded. Welcome. And to my subscribers, thank you for your patience as I hope to get back into the YouTube saddle. So instead of just jumping in, putting up videos without any sort of explanation, I thought I'd share where I've been, what I've been doing the past couple of months, why I stopped posting, and what's next. Last year was actually a banner year for me on YouTube. I gained about 5,000 subscribers. The watch time on my channel is up 127% from the previous year. I got to share some cool products with you, and I even uploaded some match footage that has been sitting on my computer for a very long time. <laughs> so all in all, pretty exciting stuff, right? But when December rolled around, I just needed a break. YouTube is fun for me. It allows me to tap into my creativity, and I actually really enjoy filming and editing. It's just a lot of work, especially when you're a one-woman show. I don't have a film crew or editor or graphics person. It is just me. Despite being a non-competitive shooting year for me, 2020 was a very busy one. I wrote a lot, spent time on podcasts, created content for sponsors, and put together several videos for Smith & Wesson's Gun Smart series. I will leave those linked below if you want to check those out. And as much as it was great to be able to post videos on a rather regular basis, my main work gets priority. We all know that YouTube is not gun content friendly, and I can't justify taking time away from professional projects in order to post videos here. So that's why the consistency is up in the air sometimes. I've also never been naive enough to think that my content will be promoted or monetized in the same way that non-firearms related channels are. I've never planned or expected YouTube to be a significant or even a reliable <laughs> source of income for me in any way, uh, but any money I do make from this channel does help me improve my filming equipment and education and all that good stuff. Now, especially with what we have seen as far as social media companies censoring or firing personalities, I wonder if this platform will even allow creators like me to continue to connect with those who support a freedom-loving lifestyle empowerment, self-reliance, and share shooting sports and safe, responsible gun ownership. There's no way to predict anything, and things can literally change overnight here. So, yeah. <laughs> Back in December, I just grew tired of being online between sensational, ridiculous news reporting, how judgmental society has become, and how people are willing to justify poor behaviors because others have done it. I, I just didn't want to be exposed to it. I've come to realize that nothing I say in the comment section or even in a phone call will win over someone who simply doesn't approve of how I think or choose to live my life. These people just don't respect it or what I believe or worse, now they loathe even my freedom to do so. So instead of getting riled up, I've just disengaged and I am actively choosing to be kind, even when it's hard to be. <laughs> even when people choose their politics over friendship or even family. Taking a step back, I know that it not only helps me be a better person, a byproduct of this kind of generosity and positivity is, is peace and contentment. In December, I posted a few things on Facebook and Instagram, but I didn't upload here. And December is actually one of the most intense and profitable months for YouTubers, even gun YouTubers, <laughs> gun tubers. Think uh, Vlogmas, uh, holiday shopping. Not only are sponsors looking to increase holiday sales, but people tend to watch more here on YouTube. Yet, I decided to get off my phone and the computer and instead spent my time with my cherished ones and I do not regret it. If 2020 and these first couple of months of 2021 have taught me anything, it's to value faith, family, and freedom. I long for a future when people think before they speak, listen more instead of attempting to force their opinions on others, have empathy and an open mind to understand they don't have all the answers, and most certainly not the ones fed to them by the media and politicians. I yearn for the days when more people choose kindness 
over the kind of cruelty that we are seeing now. I fully intended to get back to YouTube in January, but the negativity on the internet after the election, it just made things worse. Assumptions and hate have run rampant and even seem to be not only wrongfully justified, but even celebrated too. I've spent hours reading terms and conditions, researching options while wondering to what extent censorship would extend to my social media presence, my website, and my email list. It is alarming, and I truly pity people who approve of stifling or eliminating what they don't like or understand. An obsession to silence voices and ideas makes for a dismal and sad existence. I had so many ideas and plans for this channel, but with the state of things, it all just took the wind out of my sails for a bit. I needed to continue to research and find ways to be able to still connect with you all should things get worse. I joined Parler and MeWe a while ago before all the big tech suppression, but if this channel or my social media accounts are wrongfully terminated, I do have an email list. I'll leave it linked below if you're interested. I share exclusive content, first to know updates, and more. I also plan to continue to post my blog too, so if you want to check that out, you can do so at juliegollub.com. In one recent email to my subscribers, I shared my thoughts on the power of attention and what it means for millions of Americans going forward. Your attention is powerful and you should treat it like currency. That includes this channel too. If you don't find my content valuable or entertaining, I will not be offended if you unsubscribe. That's not cancel culture. It's a personal decision I can respect. We are both happier if you spend your time following what you enjoy. Lord knows there are a lot of cute kitten and puppy videos here on YouTube and a little spoil alert. That is what's going to be my next video, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> I also plan to, yes indeed, finish up my World Shoot series, finally I know, and I have some more fun content planned as well. I know most of you will understand my hiatus here, and I'd love to hear how you've been dealing with everything going on. Also, if you have any suggestions for pro-liberty web services and networks, please do let me know. <laughs> if you'd rather not leave a comment publicly, I totally understand. You can always reach out to me via email at juliegollub.com too. Finally, if you've made it to the end, as always, uh, thanks so much for watching. <laughs> I appreciate all of you so very much. Like, subscribe, all that jazz, and make sure you hit the bell for notifications in order to ensure that you do not miss a future video. I am excited to be back on track, and uh, until next time, be safe and have fun.